Welcome back to NorCal Cycling 2 and welcome back to the Couch to Crit vlogs. I wanted to explain the title of this video real quick. For every like that this video gets in the first 24 hours of it being published, I will be riding a mile from the week of January 2nd to January 8th. It's gonna be fun, I look forward to it. If you wanna find out why I'm doing this, watch the rest of this video. There will also be a Strava challenge posted on my Strava if you guys wanna do this with me. I'm excited, let's get into it. It's currently Thursday, about 10 a.m. If you guys are new here, welcome to the channel. I appreciate you being here. We vlog Thursday through Tuesday of my journey from being out of shape to being trained by Jeff, the face of NorCal Cycling, an absolute beast of a P12 crit racer, and he is helping me become a crit racer. These vlogs are the behind the scenes of my training and my journey to get there. Now, if you've watched the last two vlogs, you know where we're at in my journey. If you haven't, um, welcome to the journey. I appreciate you being here. You can go check out the other two vlogs on this channel, but I just want to do a quick recap for you guys about where I'm at right now and where I plan to go. I don't think I was very clear with that in the last couple of vlogs about what I'm doing with my diet, what I'm doing with my training plans, all of that, because I've been getting a lot of comments about that and a lot of Instagram messages about it as well. So I thought I'd answer it here for you guys real quick. If you don't want to listen to this, I will put the timestamps down below in the description and you can just click forward and continue watching this vlog. So I started at 256 pounds um, back in July of 2022 this year. And my goal was to get down to 185, which is where we are currently at. We're fluctuating weight wise from 180 to 185. Now with diet at the moment, I am trying to do my best to maintain my weight of 185. Now this has been kind of hard for me to find that balance because it's hard for me to eat at maintenance without wanting to overeat. I still have the cravings and my body hasn't fully adjusted to being down at this 185 pound weight yet because it was a pretty quick drop as you guys know. Um, so I'm trying to maintain at around 180 to 185 pounds for about six months because if I do that, if I'm able to maintain this weight for about six months, then hopefully my body should be able to adjust and get rid of some of those cravings and my metabolism will start to adjust to being 185 pounds. Now this process can take anywhere from six months to a year. So I'm gonna try to maintain this weight probably until next season and then we might look at cutting again. A lot of you guys comment about plateauing and stuff like that where you are trying to be on a weight loss journey and you end up at a weight and you're unable to continue dropping down from that weight i think i've plateaued at 185 ish pounds so there's not there's not much else that i can do for this year um, to get ready for couch to crit weight wise now with training uh, i am still doing very base level training i haven't started to ramp up my training which is going to happen in january where it's going to be a lot more structured and specific for crit racing right now i'm just trying to build a really really good aerobic base and i'm riding about 10 to maybe 12 hours a week right now depending but today we're gonna get back on the grind after an off day yesterday i gotta edit some stuff i have a cool video coming out on this channel that will be up by the time this vlog is out so check that out if you want to so i gotta do that and then i'm going to hopefully hop on the peloton because we're currently in oregon at my fiance's parents house so i don't have the trainer so i don't have the stages trainer so i'm, I'm unable to zwift while i'm here but the peloton will work totally fine you know you got to make it work with wherever you're at wherever you're traveling, gotta stay on that grind. So hopefully gonna hop on there today for about an hour or so. And then hopefully by the time that's done, it'll be warm enough outside to go out and go for a nice chill base ride. Let's get into it. Work is done for the day. We're having a little bit trouble getting motivated today. It's currently, okay, it's 2.09. Took me about four hours to finish up my day work. I don't really want to go ride, but I need to go ride because I took yesterday off. So we're gonna go outside real quick with Alyssa, my fiance, and grab some pictures for Instagram, and then I'm gonna bust out a ride inside on the Peloton. Currently 25 degrees where we are, um, but the wind chill makes it feel like it's 13.
Okay, I am cold just why oh, uh, my mouth can't even move. I'm cold just riding to the spot to shoot these photos. For all you guys calling me soft in the last vlog for not wanting to film in 50 degree weather, for not wanting to ride in 50 degree weather, I hope this is cold enough for you. She loves me, I promise. Okay, this is much better. Much warmer in here. I'm probably gonna have to take these layers off, to be honest, but I got a nice endurance ride. I'm gonna try to go for 25, 30 miles on the Peloton today. Zone two. Let's get her done. We got it done, 107 minutes inside on the trainer. I'm not gonna lie, it was tough. I wanted to quit a lot. Let's go! Ugh, I'm actually stoked that I got that done. Ow! Good morning. It's a bit cold outside. I don't know what we're gonna get into today, but thanks for being here. Let's get into it. Okay, so had breakfast, spent some time with the family. Got to get some day work done. Got to get some reels up for you guys. And I think I'm going to go on a walk today outside to kind of burn some calories and change it up from spinning inside for a two hour endurance ride. I'm going to do a walk and then do a one hour endurance ride. This is something that helps me when I'm kind of demotivated or the weather demotivates me because I don't do very well with, uh, with winter weather. I don't usually stay very motivated and I think that was one of the causes that led me to gain weight in the first place was the winters here in the Pacific Northwest are tough because you can't really get outside. I mean, if I was back in California, I'd be riding outside right now, you know, and we're blessed to have the ability to do that without being able to ride outside having supplements of things that you can do that keep you active are really really good and help me to stay motivated and like i said yesterday riding on the trainer for me without zwift is tough um, it's tough to just sit there for two hours so you know i can i can get through it i know i can i know a lot of you guys in the comments do it and you guys are awesome i'm honestly just soft but looking for other alternatives that keep you active like walks runs basketball sports playing football in the park anything like that is really helpful for me and might be helpful for you guys as well Work is done for the day, walk is done, lunch is had, time to hop on the Peloton for an hour. One of the reasons that Alyssa and I moved away from up here is because I get pretty bad seasonal depression. So I've been pretty demotivated the last couple days just because of the gray weather. It's been tough for me to just kind of get out of bed and move around. But going outside and walking, no matter how crappy the weather it is, always seems to help me. So if you guys struggle with that, I recommend giving that a try. But with that being said, Let's hop onto the Peloton for an hour and let's get it over with. Okay, so the last three days I have been kind of off my game. My nutrition hasn't been great. My calories have been way over what I should be intaking. I've been eating a lot of holiday sweets. You know, you got to cut yourself some slack. So it's okay. I'm not super upset. It's part of it. It's part of the grind, part of the balance. But also my training, I haven't been hitting the mileage that I should be hitting. Now, with that being said, it is Christmas Eve today. I cut myself some slack today and tomorrow. But I had a fun idea to keep myself accountable. For every like that this video gets within the first 24 hours of it posting, equals one mile that I will ride for the week starting January 2nd all the way through that Sunday. You guys are more than welcome to do this with me, but for now, today I'm just gonna go ahead and hop on the train today because it's still snowing outside. Probably gonna eat some holiday sweets. Enjoy the holidays. Let's get into it.
Breakfast was had this morning. I didn't record it, but Alyssa made me some of her homemade protein pancakes. They were absolutely amazing to get the morning started. Then kind of just been hanging out watching Christmas movies with the family, but just made some lunch. Uh, my future mother-in-law made some chicken last night uh, and some refried black beans that I put in a little salad with some cheese and some lettuce and some chips. This is about 750 calories, a lot of protein right here. It might not look amazing, but it tastes delicious. So we're gonna eat this, finish up some day work for the day, get some stuff ready for this week. And then I think hopefully gonna get on the Peloton and ride for maybe 45 minutes to an hour. I don't have a ton of time today. And then we're going to head to a Christmas dinner. Um, one of many for today, tomorrow, and the day after. I try my best to stay on top of it, and stay on top of training and nutrition. I'm trying to eat healthy for breakfast and lunch today because I know dinner, I probably won't eat incredibly healthy. But like I said earlier, guys, we're going to go ahead and once we get back home, get back in the flow of things. A lot more happening in these vlogs once I get back home. And we'll be having that challenge posted on Strava for you guys to follow along if you want to do it with me. No riding was done yesterday. A lot of eating was done yesterday. You know what? It's the holidays and I'm learning that sometimes you're not gonna be able to stay as strict as you want. And it's okay to have balance of some of those things that are off the plan as a part of your life. And then I gotta teach myself that it's okay to break the plan and the strictness and then be able to bounce back without having anxiety from breaking the plan and breaking the diet and breaking the strictness of the transformation that I did. So I'm still learning, but ended up having a really fun night last night. Went to a friend's house, went to Alyssa's dad's house, had a couple drinks for the first time in five months. You know, it was worth it. And to all of you that celebrate Christmas, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Happy Monday. Okay, so yesterday was amazing. Had an, oh geez, I'm blowing up. Had an amazing Christmas. But as you guys know, I have been kind of off my wagon for the last four days with nutrition, the last two days with training. So with that being said, today we're hopping right back into it. Gonna nail our nutrition today. Had an awesome breakfast of protein pancakes that Alyssa made a couple days ago for me that I have frozen and now can just heat up in the morning and they're absolutely amazing. And then we got our hot black tea, which is basically zero calories right there and kind of just something to get me going and started for the morning. Now it's pouring rain here still because we are still in Oregon. If you guys have watched the last two vlogs, you know that we're up in Oregon until the 30th of December. At least I'm gonna be doing an hour on the Peloton today and we're just gonna absolutely grind it out, pound it out, and get back on the wagon. Now some interesting things about the last two days, like Christmas Eve and Christmas, I still did track my calories. I was eating very similar to how I used to eat when I got up to 256 pounds, and it was crazy to see the intake that I could have without even really realizing it. I mean, I'm, from the last four days, I'm about 12 to 14,000 14, calories over the intake that I should have had. Like, I just, I just have a problem. I just can't stop eating when I kind of let myself go like that. Like, I will eat anything in sight. Like I've said to you guys, it's totally fine to have off days like that, you know, multiple in a row, even a week, but just kind of make sure that when you set that goal to get back on the wagon and back in a train, that you actually get back into the swing of things. <laughs> Work is done for the day. It's a little bit later than I want it to be. It's like 2.45, so I don't think I'm gonna be able to get outside today. So we're just gonna have to do a nice, long, hard workout on this Peloton right here. I'm gonna up the intensity a little bit because I think next week is when I'm going to start doing very structured training. 
So I'm going to up the intensity just ever so slightly, still stay in that endurance zone to kind of help build my aerobic fitness. Nutrition has been on point today. I'm excited. It's good to be back in the groove. Let's get it. Let me catch my breath. I just did the same endurance ride that I did two weeks ago and I was barely able to finish it. I freaking almost threw up for God's sake. It's crazy how much diet makes a difference. We finished, but well, that freaking hurt. Thank you so much. Good morning. Happy Tuesday, happy editing day. Thank you guys for being here. Again, I really appreciate all the support we're getting on the second channel. It really, really does mean the world, honestly. Um, with that being said, I'm sore this morning. It's crazy how four off days can, four off days with a bad diet can really transform how you feel. Um, yeah. I know it's Tuesday and usually I'd film through the end of today and edit tonight, but as you guys know, I'm in Oregon. We're doing a bunch of family stuff today, so I'm actually gonna wrap up the vlog here, but be sure to join the Strava challenge with how many likes this gets in the first 24 hours. It's how many miles we all have to ride, all of us, not just well. Okay, me for video content, but you guys are more than welcome to join. From January 2nd to January 8th, I will be back in California as of Friday of this week. So be on the lookout for the next vlog, which will be us starting to tackle those miles, a bunch more outside miles, linking up with Jackson again, a lot of those guys probably hang out with Jeff a little bit. It'll be fun, but that Strava challenge will be posted after that 24 hour period. I'll link it in the description for you guys to join up if you wanna do it. For every like that you guys give, uh, I will give you a mile back on my bike. I'll see you, well, I'll see you tomorrow if you're watching this. Time is weird when you're filming, but uh, I'll see you guys soon. Cheers, thanks for watching.